Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Last time we got to this cave, and where the fuck does it go? Where the fuck does it go? Anyways, let's find out, shall we? Let's go in the door. There's probably going to be a bunch of battle cutting in this cave, so just bear with me. Um, the, if I run into a new enemy, I'll let you know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, here's a new enemy for you, the Stroper. And we're fighting another Steel Bat to go along with it. We fought the Steel Bat last time. Um, the other enemy we ran to last time was the Diablo, if you remember, which was the Crab. Remember, I was going to quiz you on it. So, yeah, it was the Crab. If you got that wrong, F.A. Menos for you. Um, yeah, this Stroper thing is very weird looking, right? It's like this plant, piranha thing, something. It's really hard to distinguish what the fuck it is. Um, you could just picture it like a piranha plant, but more realistic looking from Pomp from Super Mario, you know? Something like that. Something like that. So I did promise more stories, um, about this game. Wait, hold on, hold on. What is this? It looks like a pirate. Pirate? What are you doing in this cave? I thought this cave was new. Then again, there's treasures in here. There's treasures in these dark caves. So he pressed a button and opened the door, and then the door closed. Hmm. Interesting. Indeed. Indeed, Butts. That is interesting. Like I was saying, I know I promised more stories and stuff. There's a leather cap. We'll equip that in a minute. Um, but I'm just going to have to get to that when I get to an area where I'm not in random battles. Because it'll be easier to tell stories when that kind of shit is going, ha going down, you know? So, oh, look, a door. What's that? Huh, looks like a door to me. Okay, it's a boat. What? Uh, this, that cutscene always confused me. Like, it walks out the door and he sees a boat. It's like, what? You can just see the boat? How can a ship sail without any wind? That is a good goddamn question. Question mark? I don't know. So yeah, you're like, what the hell was out here? It didn't actually show. Oh, you're just out here in this little crevice. Yeah, you don't want to walk around here too much. Just surrender battles and that's it. There's nothing good out there. So let's just finish going through the cave. That's pretty much just a dead end. Just to show that one cutscene. That that little area really has no relevance for the entire game. Alright, so there's another door. And get ready for the best music in the game. You ready for this? Because this is literally my favorite music in the entire game. Alright, I can't stay silent for that long. Sorry, I was just really getting into the music. I didn't want to read over it or nothing. This button just reopens the door we came out of, so don't worry about that button. Um, so yeah, you might be worried like you're going to get caught around here, but you can't go in the door. And these two assholes are just sleeping. If you talk to one, it just shows Z's over his head. And then I think the other one might actually wake up when you talk to him. Snore, erm, um, ump. And then yeah, so Butts runs away, the pirate wakes up, takes a look around. Says, oh, ah, nothing. Let's go back to sleep. Yeah, so if you didn't read what I what those were talking about when I walked in here, they said they want to sneak on the ship, and it's literally the only thing you can do here anyways. So we follow the dock to the ship. Now, we have a couple things we could... Well, we can't really do anything. I was just saying, there's not a couple things you could do. But you can actually come down here into the, the hull of the ship and look around. And here you got, like, a prison-type room. Can't really go in there call that the uh the brig no what do they call the fucking prison in a ship lock them in the something they got a name for it and then you go in here and talk to this dude and they talk about fixing the rudder ready rumble mumble blumble blah 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 anyway so that's like the quarters and that's pretty much all there is in this ship yeah it's not not too fascinating i know you can go here and stand on the bow and say i'm the king of the world or you could just go to the freaking helm and actually try to sail this bitch. There is no wind though, so how the hell are we supposed to get this bitch out of here? 
now we shove off. Gotta love this little animation. Hiya! No? Hiya! Hiya! No? What's the matter? <laughs> no good. It won't budge. Because that's how you make a ship move. You just push the fucking wheel. Evast! What are you doing there? Oh no. We've been caught. Oh, it's that purple haired person from earlier. Dar, ye got courage trying to steal me ship from out under me nose. Wait, I'm Princess of uh, I'm Princess Rain of Tycoon. I apologize. Uh, blah, 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 I can't read. Just I can't read. Fuck it. Fuck it. And then yeah, Galuff and Butts didn't even know she was a princess. Huh? Huh? What was a princess? They didn't even know. They didn't even know. Please lend us your ship. My father's in grave danger. Yeah, right. Like Ferris is gonna give two shits. Oh, a plea now is it, and from a princess no less. Tar, tis me lucky day. Parlay, you say? I'm gonna be rich. Stop it. I invoke the right of parlay. Please, I beg of you. Whoa, what was that? Shiny stars? That pendant. Pendant? What's so special about her pendant? Is it too shiny for you? Cast them in irons, the lot of them. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, whatever. That was one of the other pirates saying aye, Captain, but that's eh, okay. All pirates sound the same, right? Right. So we got caught, and Ferris has now tied us up. And, or put us in chains, that shit didn't tie us up. Oh, it looks like they, she tied us up. I kind of spoiled that a little bit, but whatever. Great. Whose idea was it anyhow to steal a fucking pirate ship? Ah, <laughs> I love it. They do bleeps. They do bleeps. Yours, you old psycho! Oh, this is one classic moment. I love this shit. Uh, oh, my head, I can't remember a thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice timing. Oh, I love these little moments. See, this is the only reason that makes you care about these characters, that they actually have these little moments together. I still can't get over your being a princess, Reyna. I didn't mean to hide it. Why were you going to the wind shrine alone? My father's still there. I felt something bad was going to happen to him, so I slipped out of the castle, then the meteor I hit, and... and... And you know the rest. Hmm, so we're in here till night time. Wow. We're here for quite a while. What? Oh, panning to the left. Panning to the left. Oh, we're over to the other room. And there's Ferris. What's up, Ferris? How's it going? <sighs> Dar, the princess of Tycoon had the same pendant as me own. Same pendant? What? You mean you didn't like it because it was shiny? You mean you liked it because you have the same thing? Aye, said her father be at the wind shrine. They must be connected in some way if they have the same pendant, right? Right? Right. I hope so, because otherwise I would just be wrong. And I don't want to be wrong. Set sail for the wind shrine, ye landlubbers. Huh? Pirates are like, what? Why would we want to go there? What'll ye be doing with these landlubbers, Captain? Release them. Oh, what? Look at that. Pirates are like, what? And be quick about it, you scurvy dogs. Oh, God. That pirate voice is going to kill me before this is over. That's like the hardest voice for me to do. But why? Ye are working for me now. Any complaints? Pull anchor. We sail for the wind shrine. And the pirates are like, fuck that. Are you deaf or just stupid? Do as your captain commands. Or off with your heads. <laughs> I can't hear ye. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, captain. Oh, captain, my captain. La, 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 la. Dude, this is seriously my favorite music in the game. And if it's not your favorite music in this game, then fuck you. Nah, seriously though, it is. It's just fucking, it's so catchy. But there's no wind! How or ever will we set sail? Digar, you're hollow as ye are pretty, my lass. What? How the hell you sell a ship without wind? Like, seriously. Introduce yourself to the princess. Oh, Hydra! I always skip over that, thinking that that was Ferris's name. Hydra, huh? So this thing's pulled by Hydra? Holy shit, it is. That is awesome. And he sounds just like the regular dragon. Meaning he sounds like a Pikmin. Why do they sound like Pikmin? I don't know. I don't know. 
How think ye now, raised together like brothers were we? Closer mates ye have never seen. Indeed, I need have never have seen such mates. Hydras and humans living together in perfect harmony. Harmony. Like Hermione. Like Hermione. Hermione. Cast off! Blast off. Blast off! Alright, so now we have a ship. Now, we have two options. Well, first it's going to go to a cutscene, and Ferris is going to ask us, or if anything, shall I set sail to the wind shrine for me? Now, I could say no, and I could say yes. No means I can go wherever I want right now. Yes just means it's going to sail me automatically to the wind shrine, and then I'll just walk to the wind shrine. Um, I think I'm just going to say yes, because I'm not going to go to the first town quite yet. There's not really any reason to, because... It just isn't. So I'm just going to let the game sail me to the wind shrine, which is really easy to get to. I just didn't feel like pressing, you know, a couple buttons and holding them down. Yeah, I know. I'm lazy. Let the game do it for me. So this is the wind shrine. Here we are. I could have went to Thule if you remember the town they wanted to go to was Thule, but I'll be doing that next time anyway. So I figured I could just save that for the next trip through this bitch. Next trip through this bitch? Next episode? Why don't I just say it the right way? God. So here we are fighting a killer bee and a goblin. Um, now we have Ferris in our party, so we officially now have our party for the game. Even if it doesn't exactly explicitly seem like it. You know, we got pretty much four strangers here traveling together. Normally the four characters kind of have something to do with each other. Well, except for well, Final Fantasy IV started pitting strangers together, but they already had abilities. In this case, all four characters seem to be pretty generic, except for the fact that they look different, but they pretty much have the same characteristics right now. Anyway, so let's talk to these old dudes in here for a minute. What on earth happened? So we can get kind of the situation going down here in the wind shrine. They attacked the shrine. There's monsters that attacked, huh? Are they the ones that made the crystal explode? Then again, my four adventurers don't know that the crystal has exploded yet, so... Spoiler alert. I'm, I'm kind of trying to go through this dialogue quick, because I want to try and get through the wind shrine this episode, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Do I really want to do this all in this episode? No. I don't know. Hold on. Let's go out to where the crystal be. Let's do it. Ferris is right! Of course, of course he's right. Alright, so in this room, we can talk to these people. He says that the water can heal me? Interesting. Awesome. Healing water. Take these. And we got five tonics. Now, I haven't found... Uh, I haven't pointed this out in this game yet. But tonics have replaced potions. Yeah, thank you translators once again for another weird translation. So, uh, do I want to go through this place right now? Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to save this wind shrine for next time. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V, we're going to head to the top of the wind shrine and figure out just exactly what happened in this place. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.